In many of our previous episodes, we have always emphasized on optimizing the spatial configuration of a property to maximize the quality of living and its design. We often come across clients requesting for space extension wherever there's extra land around it. But how do we optimize the spatial quality to not waste unused spaces? My name is Alex Lee and I am from New Infinity. Today's episode on Design Seed, we will be sharing with you how we optimize a fairly sized semi-detached home into a Grinjo masterpiece. The existing entrance of the home funnels the path that had to bring the owners through the dining area. We decided to relocate the entrance to the centre of the home which gives a majestic entry to this wide property. As you enter the property, a high double volume ceiling greets you upon your arrival. The solid wood timber decking gives a warm welcome which also gives the entrance foyer a greater impact in standing out as the centre of the space. It is a norm for people today to have a small workspace within their home. In light of the COVID-19, many have transitioned into working from home. With the second living and the guest room at the left portion of the house, we turn the second living into a formal gathering space. This gives the property the capability to be divided to have a private guest house away from the rest of the home. A hidden door is discreetly designed along this tastefully crafted feature wall which leads the owners into their private work studio. This work studio could be easily transformed into an extra bedroom in the future when necessary. Bolt lines and dramatic treatments may put this home in the spotlight, but it's the quality of materials and excellent spatial configuration that makes everything work immaculately. The edgy TV wall that ascends all the way up the double height space stands out with its crisp sharp lines, places around sharp angles. The shadows of the natural lighting that penetrates through the exterior sun shading louvers blend seamlessly within the TV feature wall. A sense of grandeur ensues in the dining room, where a decorative pendant steals the limelight. Coupled with the sensual black palette dry kitchen, enhanced by the wood and gold tone detailings, which highlights the lines of the cabinets. The black glass ceiling feature accentuates a higher ceiling impression for this prominent dining area. The initial dry kitchen was half the size of what we did here. Placing a grand and long granite top island in the centre of the space distracts the perspective of the one-sided kitchen. In addition to that feature, a stylish and sleek copper finish pendant lamp is hung right in the centre of the island which adds more character and details to the space. Black carpentry doors for the dry kitchen and timber finish doors for the wet kitchen with black glass for the black splash as a reverse. This combination is merged subtly and without highlighting it, both the kitchen blends so well together. The details of the gold trimming separating the tabletop from the base cabinets gives the distinctive reminder of how sleek the profile of the granite tabletop is. The granite tabletop covers up the black splash that makes the beauty of the granite more noticeable at the eye level. When space is not so much a factor, both the built-in oven and microwave could be set at a more convenient height. Layers of different sorts of storage compartments are also well taller, having the fridge area with built-in toy units for grocery and canned food storages. Drawers beneath the island to store silverware and cutleries and bigger storage capacity at the wet kitchen for bigger pots and pans. 
a large grey quartz tabletop is shared between the dry and wet kitchen, giving it so much space to work with. This is indeed a kitchen that could feed big families. The architecture of the property is designed to have a private bridge that brings you through between the double volume of the living hall and the entrance foyer. The dark green curtains with gold-lined panels on both sides create a strong feature for the bed in the master bedroom. The space seamlessly flows into the walk-in wardrobe and vanity area where only glass walls and sliding doors are used to segregate the two spaces. An interesting feature to this master bedroom is the balcony that is covered by aluminium louvers with a glass awning above. This balcony gives natural air ventilation when the bedroom sliding doors are open with good natural lighting flooding the interior space. For the secondary bedrooms, artistic approach by dressing the walls in glamorous textured finishings and abstract artworks infuses the rooms with distinctive personalities. And lastly, for the children's bedroom, a customised double-decker kids' bed was designed to give a more playful character for the kids to enjoy. Some may say the value of design depends on how much you spend in that project. But the fact is, only if an adequate amount is spent, an impactful scene can then only be achieved. It then boils down to how do you spend your budget wisely. Unnecessary extension of spaces, unnecessary accessories that would not be heavily utilised, all this should be avoided to optimise your spendings. Impressive design doesn't come in cheap. Prioritising your budget is what helps you achieve your ideal renovation outcome. My name is Alex Lee and I am from New Infinity. To watch more exciting videos of such, do subscribe to us and click on that notification button. Thank you for watching.